Hello everyone, join us this week as we talk about the power of Divine Mercy. This week is the octave day of Easter, Divine Mercy Sunday. And it's always been there throughout the readings. Our readings are the same, but in the year 2000, St. John Paul II declared the Sunday after Easter to be Divine Mercy Sunday, and he canonized St. Faustina, who was the visionary who Jesus had communicated all these things to. So when we look at the image of Divine Mercy, that image is basically Good Friday transformed. It is Jesus coming through those locked doors of the apostles, through the darkness, with his message of peace be with you. And his hand, his right hand is raised in blessing, not in judgment. We also know that his foot is moving forward. It's an indication that God is not waiting for us to come to him, that he comes to us with his radical love, with his message of peace. There are glorious red and white rays flowing from his heart, signaling the power of the sacramental life of the church, especially baptism with the white rays and Eucharist with the red rays that that grace is available to all those who will seek after it. And then at the bottom of that image, Jesus said, I want you to write, Jesus, I trust in you. It takes trust to believe that our God is that merciful, to believe that no matter what sins we've committed, that we can always run to him and find forgiveness, to trust that all the promises that he laid before us about eternal life are true, that he's always lived up to his end of the bargain, and Jesus is the final word, the lasting sacrifice. He is mercy. He is mercy for you, for me, and the entire world.